If instead of rebooting movies, retelling them from a different point of view became popular, which movie would you like retold? Air Bud, but told from the POV of the kid who was pulled out of a basketball game to be replaced by a dog. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from Willy Wonka's point of view. I want to hear his wicked thoughts. Wasn't the Johnny Depp one basically his point of view? That's what I thought. Funnily enough it would have made more sense if the two movies had their names swapped. Actually, I think the names are appropriate as they are. Charlie would name it Willy Wonka, and Willy Wonka would name it Charlie. Robin Hood from the Sheriff of Nottingham's perspective. It'd be great to watch a movie about a medieval cop trying to catch a highwayman. And he honestly believes he's taxing because the realm needs more protection, and you can't without paying the soldiers. But this guy keeps stealing the tax revenue and robbing the largest tax bracket. 500 Days of Summer would be really interesting to see Summer's perspective on everything. How about Cloverfield from the view of a professional camera crew? This question instantly made me think of Cloverfield but not for that reason. I remember when it came out people noticed that there's someone else with a camera in the bridge scene and it became a popular idea that they could do a sequel from that group's perspective. Not a movie but I would definitely watch Breaking Bad, but from the perspective of Gus Fring. That dude has a crazy story to tell. I like that we get a little of that in Better Call Saul. Wait wait I've got it. Breaking Bad, but from the perspective of the lawyer. You're a goddamn genius. A Lion King prequel from Scar's perspective. Show what really happened before the Mufasa era, and see how Mufasa cheated Scar out of the throne. Scar's real name is Taka, which literally means garbage. Fucked up childhood. Scar, why can't you be more like your brother Mufasa? He's already started his own pride and is running for city council. All you do is sit around and hang out with those vile hyenas all day. You're a disappointment to this family. Groundhog Day, a day in the life of Ned Ryerson. Except we don't see the repeat. We only see the Ned Ryerson from the timeline in which Phil hugs him and makes him uncomfortable, and the rest of the film is Ned trying to figure out his sexuality. Shawshank Redemption told from the Warden's point of view. IDK that may be too dark of a story. I'd like to think that the last thing that went through his head, other than that bullet, was how the hell Andy Dufresne ever got the best of him. I haven't seen Passengers, but my mom has, and she said the exact same thing. It would be a much more interesting movie if it were told from Jennifer Lawrence's POV. Harry Potter from Voldemort's perspective. Gimme that dark magic. I'd get down with Snape's perspective as well. Rambo First Blood is about the struggle of an honest sheriff trying to stop a sociopath from creating chaos and death in his town. The book First Blood is based on, First Blood by David Morell, is actually half John Rambo's perspective, and half from the sheriff's perspective. The Marvel movies from each Stan Lee cameo's perspective. Not told by Luis from Ant-Man. I really wish they would have made a video of Luis doing a recap of the entire MCU and had that play as a short film before Endgame. Final Destination from Death's Perspective. I imagine it would just be Skeleton Hands setting up deadly rude Goldberg machine with some classical music in the back. Well this isn't my idea or suggestion because Orson Scott Card already did it, but he wrote Ender's Game a second time from Bean's point of view and called the story Ender's Shadow. Came looking for this comment. Ender's Shadow offers so much detail in a story you thought was already complete, fantastic work by Orson Scott Card, along with the rest of the Ender's Saga novels. The Princess Bride from Humperdinck's POV. Or Inigo Montoya. From childhood to finding the six-fingered man to what he does after. Have you read the book? A lot of Inigo's childhood and training is detailed there. Humperdinck gets his say too. Such a good book and such a good movie. A Batman movie from Alfred's point of view. 
There goes Master Wayne in his furry suit off to beat up a clown for the millionth time for closure instead of going to therapy. Semi-related. I didn't believe in this concept being worth a whole redo till I read Ender's Game and Ender's Shadow. It's cool going over the same base material, but adding a whole second perspective and explanation for things that may not have made sense from the original. Joker but from the perspective of that kid whose parents were killed in the end of the movie. That could be great actually. Maybe the death of his parents could drive him to fight crime or something and have Joker as a nemesis, IDK. Groundhog Day, from everybody else's perspective on the last day repeat. Just a movie about a small town and some weather guy who shows up at random points in people's day to make their lives better, for no apparent reason.